Hello everyone! Welcome to Electronic Product Assembly and Servicing. Appliance repair is no simple task. You need to have the necessary knowledge, skills, and attitudes. The knowledge on classification of tools will be of great help to beginners like you. This lesson will help you identify the different tools needed. What is a tool? A tool is an object used to extend the ability of an individual to modify features of the surrounding environment. Tools can be considered as extension of the human hand, thereby increasing its speed, power, and accuracy. Here are some samples of hand tools that we will see on this topic. By the way, for today, we will just focus on electronics hand tools. Hand tools that we may see inside our shops. A hand tool is any tool that is manipulated by hand rather than powered by a motor. They are classified according to their functions. The 10 classification includes 1. Measuring tools. 2. Marking tools 3. Tooth cutting tools 4. Edge cutting tools 5. Holding tools 6. Boring tools 7. Driving tools 8. Soldering tools 9. Testing tools and 10. Miscellaneous tools Measuring tools are sensitive instruments of surface hardened steel provided scales of different degree of accuracy. Foot rule, a ruler one foot long. A measuring stick consisting of a strip of wood, metal, or plastic with a straight edge that is also used for drawing straight lines and measuring lights. Pupush rule, the steel tape measure is an extendable steel strip coiled into a container. The tape is spring-loaded. Zigzag rule, a measuring rule made in sections that hold together. Wire gauge is a tool used to measure how large a wire is, either in diameter or cross-sectional area. Testing tools. These are the tools used to test the flatness and squareness of a wood. Tri-square is a hand tool used for testing the squareness of a stock and corners. Plumb bob, a bob or lead or other heavy material forming the weight of a plumb line used to test the verticalness of a post. Spirit Vivel, also called bubble level or simply a level, is designed to indicate whether a surface is horizontal level or vertical plumbed. Marking tools. These tools are used to lay out or mark lines. Pencil, an implement that you use for writing, drawing, or marking of surfaces. Scratch Owl is a layout and point-making tool. It is used to scribe a line to be followed by a handsaw or chisel when making wood joints and other operations. Electrician's Knife, a tool composed of a blade and a handle used for marking thin lines. Holding tools. This is a tool that firmly holds any material together. Pliers, also called lineman's pliers, used for holding, gripping, and cutting wires. 
hand drill used for holding twist drill bits. Let's try some magic. Boring tools. These are tools primarily used for boring holes in any material. Twist drill bits used for boring holes on wood, metal, or plastic. Gimlet bit. A bit with a spiral flute and a sharp threaded point for boring small holes. Driving tools. These tools are used to push, drive another object into the wood or any other material. Claw hammer used for driving and pulling out nails. Ball pin hammer, a hammer with rounded end used to drive bushing. Screwdriver, used for tightening or loosening slotted or pillars head screws. Edge cutting tools, any cutting tool with a sharp cutting edge. Side cutter plier, a principally used for cutting and stripping solution of wires. Wire stripper, a simple tool made from a pair of opposing blades, much like scissors, used for removing insulation of wires. Tooth cutting tools. Any cutting tool with teeth sharpened like a knife. A file. A tool used for removing burrs and smoothening surfaces. Handsaw. Used for cutting along or across the grain of wood. Hacksaw. Used for cutting metals. Soldering tools. Any tool that is used for joining using heat. Soldering iron. Tool used for soldering. It supplies heat to melt the solder so that it can flow into the joint being soldered. Soldering tool stand. An indispensable tool for keeping the soldering iron away from persons or things to avoid accidents from heat. Miscellaneous tools, consisting of different or varied tools not belonging to a category. Paint brush, used for removing dust on surfaces being cleaned. Open close end wrench. Used for tightening or loosening hex nut. Magnifying glass. Used to enlarge small objects. Okay. Now that you already know the different type of tools, you should also know the following ideas. Advantages of using the proper tools 1. Efficiency of work 2. High quality of the work 3. Speed of accomplishment 4. Accuracy Factors that affects the use of tools 1. Availability and sufficiency of the materials. 2. Experience and skill of the workers in their respective fields. 3. Good quality of tools and equipment. That's all for today, guys. I hope you learned a lot from our today's topic. Until next time, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel.